Uh, hey Lucas, this is Dylan Kirkby recording for the group of myself, Brian Cowan, and Ivan Parhamenko. Let me turn those off, sorry. Um, I'm just starting with one client open at the moment because this whole process makes my computer chug a bit. Uh, you can see in the top left corner I have my server view in bird's eye and my client view can also do that with a simple press of the P key or turn the client view with left bracket. Uh, right bracket turns off and on these debugger objects, which I can go. I will go over a little bit later. Um, I didn't write myself a script though, so we'll see, right? Um, as far as I know, everything's in UDP, sending datagrams back and forth between the client and server. I've got both of their tick rates locked to 0.2f, so one fifth of a second, for that's the sending rate, of course. Their hertz are however fast the things will reasonably run, I believe, capped to 60. Um, I've implemented server reconciliation and client-side and client -side reconciliation in that the server takes in our commands and runs it for us, of course, and then returns its datagram with the message ID back to the client which then reparses all its commands after that message. That was a little bit. That was actually kind of fun to implement. Um, a little hard to prove without showing you the code. So let's see if I can find that real quick. My machine really does not like recording though. So let's see here. Um, so I reapply all controls since in my vector of previous player inputs and it goes through the same switch case as the server has here in UDP server CPP um, gosh I'm looking right at it and I can't even see it you get the idea um, I opted not to predict respawn since I'm doing it with a uniform int distribution to respawn my players and that would be extremely jarring. It's pretty jarring anyways, but I think that's expected with this assignment. Um, um, all the non-player controlled characters are controlled fully with physics, which I believe counts as dead reckoning without the tweening, which I will, I'll show you that once I have more clients open in a moment here. Uh, gameplay, I can shoot. Uh, if I shoot a person, I'll die. I'll demonstrate that too. Um, so let me... Sorry, I'm really haphazard here. I'll pull these up and tell you these, and then I'll open a new client. So these are showing off our multiple positions. If I go backwards here, you can see that Brass, uh, the one in front, is my server predicted position. The black one here is my dead reckoning, and the greenish black one ahead is the client predicted position which just reapplies all the controls that the client had previously similar to server reconciliation uh, the server itself will not show you these but I can do it from the bird's eye camera so it disables the controls when I do that so let me get going at a bit of a rate here and you can see them going across there Okay, I've turned those off and stopped the ship. Let's get myself back on the map server side. A little bit of a small speck there by the lakes, and I will run another client. Uh, so debug, start new instance. Really doesn't like recording, so bear with me. Maybe it's time to upgrade from my Windows 7, right? Um, so I'll go find the other one here, just to show off that I can indeed shoot, right? And it's a little bit wonky at times, takes about two seconds to come back, based off ten server ticks. I set the uh, detection ratio, or um, radii of the attack fairly high, simply because the bullet has to move so fast to look good. Um, so here I'm despawned and I can still look around, but the server doesn't care what my movements are. Here I'm pressing WASD and it's not moving it at all. Um, you can see the bullet's not above it. It doesn't have one. 
the only option I have is to press escape or to press the R key, which teleports me back, gives me my bullet back, and I can shoot again. Now, where's my friend? There's my friend. So let's see if I can hit a shot from here. Close enough, right? This one's dead too. Same deal. Just press R, and I'm back. Um, pressing R in this state, I think you can hear my keyboard there, does nothing. And um, we need to prove that four people can connect, so I'll open two more clients here. Um, I set it so that four is the hard cap server side, and anyone past that should not be able to connect. Uh, where's my cursor? There we go. I'm just doing a few things in my off screen here. It makes this easier. Just to open the things that ruining the recording, right? Uh, debug. Start new instance. Okay, so you can see that instance three loaded in with everybody. Let me turn these off again. Oh, and here comes instance four. Turn those off. Loaded in pretty quick. Um, so player four. Take a shot. It goes pretty slow. Now that I've got four open, let's see if it'll actually connect here. Okay, so there's a there's a confirmed hit. Okay, um, bird's eye cam. Not everybody's on the map. My spawn area is a little constrained to the um, southwest here. You can see two ships. And if I can, God, if I can manage to get back to my client again here, and I respawn it, you can see, yeah, all my spawn area is in the same little corner right now. Um, given the lag in general, we could definitely use a bit more packet optimization, uh, unfortunately. Hang on, my PDF almost crashed here. <laughs> Um, I think that's everything I can reasonably show you in the video, so I'll just try to write as good a readme as I can. Anyways. Um. Oh, I should show off the Dead Reckoning for non-player characters, right? Let me... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, the server is really slow once a couple people are connected, so let me get rid of this one. Let me get rid of a couple of these. Get rid of that one as well. Okay, now the server is back to closer to how I'd expect it to be at least. I'll get this fellow moving, and I'll tab into this client. And oh gosh, where am I? So you can see it moving there. And I'll turn on its debug object so you can see the position, or its, yeah, its dead reckoning position. Just moving in little tabs right now. Same with this one. And I think that's all for now. So thanks for the course, and I hope your Unity job goes nicely.